I have a roll call, please. Audrey Adamson here. Justin Anderson. Present. Jenna Smith. Here. Kate Schaefer. Here. Maria Estragero. Here. Andrew Weyer. Here. Aaron Roman Smith. Here. Can you all rise and please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. All right, moving on to the approval of the minutes. Minutes of the open session of the regular Board of Education meeting of April 11th, 2022. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, can I have a roll call, please? Oh, this is all in favor. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> all right. Any communication? Nope. All right. Consent agenda. Recommend motion is that the Board of Education approve the actions contained in the consent agenda as presented. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, could I have a roll call, please? Justin Anderson? Aye. Chet Smith? Aye. Kate Schaefer? Aye. Maria S. Trigueros? Aye. Andrew Weyer? Aye. Audrey Adamson? Aye. Aaron Walton Smith? Aye. Number six, the approval of the memoranda of understanding with Luther College. The recommend motion is that the Board of Education approve the memoranda of understanding between Luther College and the Mullingville Valley School District. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All right, could I have a roll call, please? Chetta Smith? Aye. Kate Schaefer? Aye. Maria Estragueros? Aye. Andrew Weyer? Aye. Audrey Adamson? Aye. Justin Anderson? Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith? Aye. Number seven, approval of the amended score board agreement with the Moline Booster Club. Motion, the recommended motion is to the Board of Education approve the amended school board agreement with the Moline Booster Club. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, could I have a roll call, please? Kate Schaefer? Aye. Maria S. Trigueros? Aye. Andrew Weyer? Aye. Audrey Adamson? Aye. Justin Anderson? Aye. Chet DeSmet? Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith? Aye. Number eight, the approval of the secured loan resolution. The recommended motion is that the Board of Education approve the resolution to authorize the district to co sign the Bowling Booster Club for a secured loan for the debt service associated with the scoreboard at Brownwood Field and Wharton Fieldhouse. Could I have a motion, please? So, Second. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, could I have a roll call, please? Maria S. Trigueros? Aye. Andrew Weyer? Aye. Audrey Adamson? Aye. Justin Anderson? Aye. Chet DeSmet? Aye. Kate Schaefer? Aye. Aaron Waldron Smith? Aye. All right, Dr. Savage. Okay, just a couple of things. We have our <laughs> final uh, quarterly community conversation this Thursday. It will be at noon right here in the Coolidge PD room. It will be virtual as well as anybody can join in person. So if any uh, board member is able to hop on, that would be great. Otherwise, I understand it's a noon time one and there's less flexibility during that time. Uh, Craig and I will uh, be monitoring from this space if anybody would like to join. Um, we received notice last week, have some good news here. We received some notice last week that the Illinois State Board of Education made a coding error during the initial implementation of the evidence-based funding formula in the spring of 2018, and we were on the right side of that error, let me say that. The code was used for the FY19 distribution of EVF funding to districts. We learned that our district received less than it was owed, which was approximately $832,000. The Illinois General Assembly approved a measure for ISBE to immediately correct the funding error for districts that are owed the money. And it's, it's over 700 districts, so it's pretty significant. Not all have such a large amount, but it, it varies from $1 to, um, I think, $5 million was the, was the most. Um, that, so that, you know, would be, yes. Um, the additional funds will be distributed into our regularly scheduled remaining EBF payments this school year, which are monthly, so we'll have uh, May and June, so we'll likely receive that additional 832 k over those other two regularly scheduled payments. Um, the total cost of the error, 
of the air, I believe, is 87 million, um, which was inadvertently um, allocated to Chicago Public Schools. So they will be um, some sort of repayment. Um, I, that's that's what uh, is my understanding of, of that air. So that is good news for the Ed Fund. Um, and then lastly, the district leadership team has a date of May 10th to conduct a closeout review of our pay schools for this year. The formal goal closeout with the board will be at the following a board meeting on May 23rd. Uh, we will then begin looking towards the goals for next year and very um, excited to be able to do so. Pay school planning for the 22-23 year will generate from multiple sources. Um, we'll analyze academic achievement data and other data sources for goal development, utilize input from students, staff, and parents, and finally input from the Board of Education. I'd like to get some feedback on when the board would like to conduct its work session to provide input on our new goals. Um, the preferred timeline would be to present the goals um, at the June 27th board meeting. And so to prepare for that, um, I have a couple of options that I, I was thinking about. We could conduct the goal development discussion to get your input um, on May 23rd after the closeout of this year's goals, that would be an option. Or we could schedule a special work session for just that purpose. And um, I'd be happy to send out a doodle poll or send out five or six dates um, sometime after graduation and into the first couple of weeks in June to see if there was a date where um, you would be available for a work session. So any input that you would have on that or do you want to take some time to think on that? I personally would like a work session because sometimes I feel when we do things at the end of the meeting, things get rushed and we don't get time to really evaluate or discuss as much as we would like. That's just my personal opinion. I agree with that as well as maybe getting past graduation and all of the many, many activities. I think I'm not the first two weeks of June. Okay. I'll be back and then I'll be back out the first week. I know we're not looking at the library, just like yeah. <laughs> so the third week of June. Yeah. Okay. And same session. Yeah. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Say I'm gone the last week of June. I'm starting June twenty second. So. So we're looking at third week. Might be the best. We we'll just send out a whole bunch of dates. <laughs> and the other benefit. <laughs> The other benefit of having that time is I'd be able to bring to the goal setting discussion, or not goal setting, but goal development discussion, um, the data from the senior exit survey, the data from the spring parent survey that's going to be going out. Um, we, will, we will have time to have done a pretty good, decent analysis of academic achievement data and those kinds of things to, to bring to the board. Um, Dave, any financial stuff? Yes, uh, finances are in good shape. My revenues estimates are off a little bit to the, to the good side, but uh, two things. I am in the process of exploring to buy another property at Lincoln Irving, near Lincoln Irving. So I probably, that'll come to you maybe in two weeks. And then um, also you might have in two weeks a emergency type situation. I'm exploring how to do that with the board because we're having problems getting Wilson, the HVAC and the heating is down in the main, you know, hallway. And there's no time to bid out, get it. We've been exploring different ways. So I think the biggest way is probably have you guys vote to say it's an emergency. I believe it is emergency because we're up against a lot of uh, <coughs> supply issues or uh, labor issues and a whole bunch of stuff that if you bid it out, we might not be able to get to it for until next summer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at how to do that and probably come back to the next board meeting. I think you need 60% to say it's an emergency and then we don't have the bid requirements as much. We're probably talking about a half a million dollars worth of expenditures for HVAC and heating and that that corridor by the offices at Wilson. And we're trying to get it done this summer. So that's all I got. All right, any open discussion or questions on the board? I was just circle back to the community meeting. Are, is anybody going to be there? I can, I'm going to try and finagle so that I can get here. Okay. Actually, I can leave half an hour from work. So, 
Or you can have one virtually too. I was going to say, if not, I'll just. Not I'll Okay. We could both come. That's true. I'll be here. Okay. 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 Okay.